You know I don't like making my intros too long. Let's get started. In order to install a custom map, we need a custom map first. So for that, I recommend this website called minecraftmaps.com. I'm not a sponsor or anything by them. You find your website, find whatever map you want to use. In my case, and for this tutorial, I'm just going to click like right here, parkour, because I like parkour, who doesn't? And I'm going to go with the first one. Just press a space bar three. Go ahead and click on it. If you're using this website, then you should follow this process. If you're using a different one, use your process. In here, we're going to click download map, and that is going to immediately start the download of a zip file, okay? We could go ahead and drop that zip file to the desktop for safekeeping. You can put it wherever you want and you can go ahead and close the website. That's it. That's it. You already downloaded the map. You're done with that. You can go ahead and close it. And now we're going to open the Minecraft launcher. And if you don't have the Minecraft launcher, don't worry. Just stay here and I'm going to show you how to install the custom map even if you don't have the Minecraft launcher. As you can see, I launched the Minecraft launcher. And what we're going to do is actually go to installations and select the Minecraft version that we're playing this for. This map is for 1.18.2. So I'm playing 1.18.2. And we're going to click this little folder right here, which is going to open the installation folder and in here it's pretty simple pretty straightforward we're going to find a folder called saves as you can see right here folder called saves go ahead and click on it and right here we're going to drop that zip file that we had downloaded but we're not going to leave it as a zip file okay we're going to right click it and we're going to extract it just click extract here if you have winrar and that's going to extract a folder as you can see it's right here just press the space bar we're going to open it and make sure that the files are right in that folder you cannot have a folder within a folder okay you need to have the folder and the files for the map right there. You should see all of this data, dim, advancements, all of that. If you have a folder and inside of that you have another folder, make sure that you bring those files out and you get rid of that extra folder. I don't know if you follow me there. And then you can go ahead and close this, launch your game, and you should have the map right there. The other way to open that folder, the installation folder, if you don't have the Minecraft launcher, just click on the search bar and type in run. And then you're gonna open this right here and you're gonna type in percentage update percentage, okay? Go ahead and click OK. Don't mind Minecraft loading in the back. It's just loading. I want to let it load. And then right here, once you open this, you're going to click that Minecraft. OK, I'm going to click that Minecraft and we're going to find saves. As you can see right here, we're back in that same folder. So that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward as well. It's a pretty simple process. You just add the folder to the saves, right? And then let's test it out. Let's see if it works. Actually, I really like this that it says it's QYZU. Let's go ahead and click on single player. And as we can see, if we scroll down enough, there it is. Just press the space button three. It's right here. We go ahead and click on play. Right here, you might get a sign saying, are you sure you want to play this world? Do you know what you're doing? Just click yes, that you're sure. And that's it. It shouldn't give you any problem. Just make sure that you match your world version to your Minecraft version, okay? Very important that you check that on the website. As we can see right here, it's fully working. I just select whatever I wanna play and right click to select, right? And it's, it's really simple, pretty straightforward. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Help me out by subscribing to the channel. And as always, bye-bye.